on the history of our country and that of KDF contribution in the stabilization of the region and Mosul in Somalia is written, then it will be very visible and invisible outcomes that bring the, the light, the, the really value of the sacrifices made by Kenyans in pursuit of regional peace and security. And uh, Madam Speaker, I am sure the committee of this House and even this House in their oversight role of Kenyan Defense Forces, when they visit our camps, they will have an opportunity to see plagues, memorial parks, with the names of those who lost their life in the line of duty, the honor they, they, they are given, not only in the mission in Somalia, but in other missions since KDS was formed. So that, that is a preserve of our, our basis, is a preserve of uh, what the KDF uh, Act and what the National Security Act uh, within our Constitution uh, uh, subscribes. So in a nutshell, Madam Speaker, KDF and Kenyans have over the years suffered casualties, including loss of life, both before and after KDF integration into the African Union mission in Somalia, now the African Union transmission mission in Somalia, ATMIS. While the exact number of injuries and fatalities cannot be publicly disclosed due to security consideration, we assure the House that every incident is properly documented and families pro promptly informed.